chest so this is how the palette looks the huda beauty pastel mint palette it's super small which i think is cute it's small and it's compact so i think that's super nice and i'm gonna show you the inside so this is how the inside looks look at me i'm all shaking and shit <laughs> but the colors are super cute the colors are cute so basically i had already put on my foundation my concealer my whole complexion pretty much i contoured too and we are gonna get into the palette we're gonna get started the only thing i will say about this palette is it has no transition shades so what i think i'm gonna do is kind of be a little risky and just use this as my brow bone transition and let's just see what happens let's see how it works out and actually i think it's okay it's okay like i can kind of get away with it because it's not super obvious that it's like a pastel mint color but you could kind of see it's a pastel mint color but i'm gonna work with it let me know how y'all feel about this lighting i'm gonna come so y'all could kind of see it better so pretty much i'm just packing that pastel mint color underneath my brow bone that is gonna be my highlight and i just feel like as i'm doing my shadows and stuff everything will just transition kind of smooth it's gonna look a little crazy right now i'm not gonna lie to y'all but when i you know when i do everything it'll it'll go on kind of smooth so this is that and we're just going to use that as our transition i mean not our transition as our brow bone highlight is that pastel minty color this one all right, so now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna use that as my transition color. Yeah, and that is gonna kind of help transition everything out. And we're gonna make it do what it do. So one of the reasons why I got this palette was honestly, I felt like it was super like spring. To me, this is a, definitely a spring palette. The pastel colors, the minty colors. When I see those colors, I think of like spring, I think of Easter. So I'm like, I'm gonna get it. And also I didn't, I didn't have a palette honestly like this. So I felt like it was just, it was perfect. It was perfect for me to get it because I didn't have these colors already. I don't own these type of colors. But so far so good, it's going on nice. I kind of would want it to be just a smidge more pigmented, but you know what, I can work with this. It's not falling out all over the place, which I think is a great sign because I already did my foundation and stuff. So and it's blending pretty nice it is blending pretty pretty nicely so yes honey yes this is what we want and i'm trying to use this one palette for everything like i have another palette that could probably help and be like a nice support and a supporting star but let's let's kind of stay with the same palette because I, I when i like do look sometimes i don't like to use too many different palettes because then it gets too confusing like dang like i'm gonna just have that look with one palette but i would say if you i don't know what the heck it wasn't doing anything for us but i will say i feel like the deeper your skin tone is you may need definitely some the fuck <laughs> okay this is what i hate about living on the highway but i will say definitely if you are gonna buy this palette you probably would need some more colors to support it if you are more of a deeper skin tone look very minty so yeah i'm gonna do that and just see what we get okay so we're not mad i'm not mad about this so i think so far it's going in the direction i want it to go so now let's add a nice lid color right, y'all so i figured i'm gonna go in with this color right here this is gonna be my lid color because i feel like that shade is different um that was like one of the colors that drew me into this palette so let's see what it's hidden for i'm just kind of swiveling it together like this i'm gonna use a flat brush like so and i'm gonna just try it real quick without wetting it just to see the pigment and okay huda girl she is she's pigmented now i'm gonna wet it and let's just see i'm probably gonna mix the other one too with it so i'm gonna use my morphe setting spray and we're just gonna wet her out 
can see. And I would say because it's a shimmer, maybe take your time, guys, because especially if you're going to do your makeup, like what I did, you will get fallout if you go ham. Like, it's definitely going to have fallout. But I'm not mad at this. I'm probably going to add the other shade at the bottom just to kind of deepen it up because this, for me, it's cute. But I want, like, I want depth, and I feel like this is kind of going on the silvery side. It looks silver to me. It's definitely, it's not giving me mint. This is giving me more of a silver hue. On my complexion, I feel like this is more of a silver. But I'm not mad. So I'm going to add this to the other side. And then we're going to put the um the deeper one kind of like right here. And let's just see what we get. Right, so we're going to go in with this color right here. And it's, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at her. It's definitely different. This is something different. These colors is different colors for me. And you can see it. It's kind of minty. Now, I feel like that deeper color gives you more of that mint vibe. Because that first one, she was definitely giving us silver. She was giving us real silver-ish. And then now I'm just going to go back into that darker color right here and just kind of like the fuck it got on my shirt <laughs> and i'm just gonna kind of you know blend it in so it don't look so stark and see what happens the way like the look that we're going for the whole pastel vibe so I'm going to see if I can find a color and just kind of put it in there and transition it and stuff. Right, y'all. So, I basically found the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. And I feel like I'm going to add this color in. This color is called... I think it's called Jada. This color is called Jada. So, we're going to add Jada. And I feel like that'll be like, you know, just something. That deeper color. Just so she meets about right up in here. And then we're going to smoke everything out with, with, with the Jada color. Yeah, bitch. This is it. This is it. This is what we were looking for because... I'm sorry, Huda. We needed a darker color up in there for us. You know, we, we need to be able to do something. We got to play around. So it needed... I needed a little color support. And then now off camera, I'm going to add like a little straight line. I'm going to put on some lashes and then probably we're going to see what else we're going to add to complete this look. All right, y'all. So, so far I'm feeling it. Now that I added the, um, the Morphe, like, that color jada and the little outer colors to make it look more smoky i'm feeling it so i'm just gonna go back in with this color i know y'all probably like dang girl you indecisive as i don't know what but i'm gonna go back in that color and just kind of add a little bit back in so you know we could see it make everything transition cute because like i said even though this is a review i still want it to be Minty, like the whole vibe is like that minty blue pool party type of look. Like, you know, we we give it spring, we give it Easter vibe. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready to smoke out underneath my eye. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm gonna give y'all my overall thoughts of the palette. So I would say the palette to me is probably at least I would say maybe like an eight out of a ten. The only negative thing is honestly it just didn't have that deeper color for me to transition it. As you can see, I feel like it's very vibrant. The pigments is definitely there. I think the look looks so good. I love this look. It's definitely different from what I would normally do. I'm sorry, fixing this, but I think it's cute. I think it's something cute. I think y'all should definitely go out and buy the palette. I'm gonna grab the palette again. The pastel mint, I think it's so adorable. Looks like this. 
it's it's worth it guys it's definitely worth it i think it was about maybe 30 40 dollars i feel like it was 30 dollars so no i'm lying i feel like it might have been i don't know i don't know how much it is i'm gonna link it down below how much it is put the link for sephora for you to purchase the palette but it was definitely good um comment down below if there's any other videos or any other products you want me to review and until then don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you later babies bye High fashion, like Goya, G-Wagon, or the Rover. I put some ice on you cause you got